and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tarek Jace. This is going to be a spicy one with out of the way. This is what meme tier Monday is all about. So we're going to be trying out of the way that says for the rest of the game, allied buffs except barrier are permanent. Now that's always worked really well with Tarek where whenever you attack with Tarek, you give um, tough for just you know that round, so that's going to be permanent tough for Tarek and the supported ally. But then, of course, whenever you have leveled up Tarek, then this whole can't take damage or die for a round, that's going to be a buff that stays on forever. So that's always really cool, being able to you know have can't take damage or die for the rest of the game. But we're going to be doing some other cool stuff. We're going to be playing Jace, where um, you know whenever Jace has uh, is leveled up and you get to create the acceleration gate. The acceleration gate, like if you double this, will be able to uh, be able to give you know quick attack to everybody, and then another keyword to everybody, and so those will be perm you know that's only for the round. Those will be permanent keywords with out of the way, and so that's kind of what we're thinking here is that that uh, get those together, uh, get permanent keywords all the time. That could be really cool. Um, let's see. Sunforger can have permanent lifesteal, Pale Cascade, permanent plus one, plus one, and then also the gifts from beyond for just some extra lifesteal. We're going to have like Severum in here uh, that you could normally copy Severum over with, you know, put that on Terra, copy it over. Um, but then also if you have the out of the way, that can again be permanent lifesteal. So if we're like, you know, really lucky and really going crazy, you know, we can have Terra and something else, get permanent lifesteal, and can't take damage or die <laughs> for the rest of the game. That could be pretty crazy. Uh, so that's going to be the, the kind of stuff that we're going to try to do. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's see how this does. I think there's there's just a lot of like just good cards in here, right? Financier, Telescope, the Forge Chief refilling our spell mana, being a really good one drop for this kind of deck of being letting you curve out but then still have spell mana. Um, yeah, this, this looks like we got some good stuff. And then good removal with Shock Blast and Sunburst. And these are cards that level up our Jace for us. Um, and then Sol like Solar Priest is in here to get the six mana Obliterate to help level up Jace. So let's try it all out. All right, here we go. Tarek Jace. Out of the way. Okay, so our new first game. Unfortunately, we, we had a really cool game um, that was going against... Uh, was against Leona, Aurelian Soul, but it was a, a long game. My opponent just kind of quit whenever it was like even. <laughs> Maybe they had to like, you know, go or something. So I uh, didn't put that game up here. Um, we're going to keep these three. This is a Karina control. That makes sense with Jace. That makes sense. Uh, we, I did get to create, we had a loping telescope or a financier. One, two, oh no, financier. We had a financier create a... Uh, do we want to play that? I guess I'll just attack. I'm um, sorry, we had a financier create a skies descend and that was awesome. And we got to like skies descend after they Leona daybreaked and like blew up their whole board. But we were pretty far behind so that still didn't actually like win us the game just doing that. <laughs> Then, then they went in judgment and blew up my board with the judgment. It was a cool little game, but that's how it goes. All right, we're going to Forge Chief. I'm always just scared of one damage things against Shadow Isles, which I guess I should be maybe like maybe I should be scared of Mystic Shot. All right, good. Not, uh, you know, get two three threes. I guess the fangs. I don't know if we really need the trickster body for the fallen. For each ally, for each ally that died this round, you get a three three. It's gonna cost eight mana. Um, I could see that being better than the, you know, it's either that or the messenger, right? One of these two. I could see them, like, killing a whole bunch of stuff in one round, and then we get, like, a bunch of 3-3s. Three I don't know. I 
I don't know what's going to happen, but we can try it. So super fast pass. So they're telling us they have Vi. Um, okay, so they have Vi. I guess we just also pass? Do I play something? Okay, chat saying just go ahead and pass back. Alright, we'll just take the pass. Let's take this anomaly. I don't know if we're gonna be able to disguise to send it up. If it's a people problem, I'm your man. You maybe serpent compare with mentor the stones. Naga Kabura sends the blessing. do that. The thing is, you said pass, let everything die for the Fallen, but how do we let everything die? Like, these are all, like, fearsomes. I can't block, you know, I can't block these things. Like, I'd have to, like, Pale Cascades, but then we don't have, but then I, it's not Nightfall right now, and then we don't have the mana for, for the Fallen. It's a big mess. kind of cool. Back to back would be cool, if, you know, if we had that out of the way in play. So, kind of wish I would have kept one of the Bell Cascades and just taken the five from the five one, just blocked Elise. They de definitely still have a one damage thing, whether it's go hard or any of those things be. Yeah. So they could definitely still have a one damage thing. Alright. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Too many cards in hand. 
Hopefully they didn't have a one damage thing, but they did. Jace is leveled up. Okay, I don't have any more of those. Um... Yeah, it's a much smaller game than Hearthstone, but it's a much better game though. So I'm, I think, I don't know, I don't know if that's gonna, you know, if that will gradually change or anything. But yeah, it's it's a lot smaller. Hearthstone just has like has been around for a decade longer. Yeah, that's the thing. Yep. Okay, so what's this? Shock Black miss Missing Shot. So I Bastion, Taric. Taric becomes. Yeah, becomes 6 health. Stand resolute. So it still doesn't kill Tarek. Um, the problem here is, you know, now they can. I want to copy the. Man. We have to do gem. I want to copy the Bastion over, but we don't get to copy the Bastion over. I guess we're going to have to copy Gem over. So Vi can trade with either of these. They can trade like Vi with uh, Tarek, but neither of these others will trade. Okay, and they chose not to trade Vi. Okay. We're running out of cards. They're only sitting at two cards. We are running them out of cards. No. But if you got that as one of your two cards, you're, you're doing pretty good. All day, every day, Reggie. Yeah. Well, that's too bad. So we could for the fallen here and get three three threes. But it's the best we can do, it looks like. Vi's gonna level up. Uh, I don't. I mean, Pact doesn't do anything right now. What's up, Mordecai? I'm bivalent towards the new single player mode. Needs more visual novel content. You like the the comic part?
Okay, we can... So I was, I was really hoping to draw our other sunburst, right? And be able to sunburst. <gasps> they passed! Thank you! I'll take the pass. Harrowing. Harrowing's cool. We'll just get more bodies out here for Fourth of Fallen. Alright, to get a sunburst. Shut up when I can. Um. Just get this out of hand, draw a card. Wow, Ruination. And they love passing. Thirteen. This costs. Oh no! Costs fourteen to play Taric and play Jace and play Acceleration Gate. Don't worry, I am here. I can definitely see them holding on to like a Ruination. Also, like that's what it kind of feels like. Maybe they're holding on to like a Ruination and. Like some other units they don't really want to play yet. Maybe. Man, one man short from doing that. Seven six overwhelm tough. Replicating the power spike. All right, not so much. Bright light. Powering up. Deal for some two sands orders. Kind of a weird game. I just kind of feel like I'm going to walk into Ruination. I play Jace and walk into Ruination. I guess that's what the four of the fallen is for. Porta Masia.
Alright, so not... Um... Oh, I guess we could forward Amasia. Okay, so yeah, I guess this is permanent, so I guess we could just like forward Amasia right now. It's actually not so bad. Gems are superb! Bad for the teeth, though. That's permanent plus three plus threes? So much for Ford Masia. Please tell me no ruination. So if I do go Jace, oh, man. Man, but if they just go ruination, we're stuck. Oh, what to do? What to do? This could be like the. Like the coolest play ever, though. Jace plus Acceleration Gate. Alright, we'll do it. It's meme tier day. Let's try it out. There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix. No! They had it! Oh, I didn't play around it at all. I had been for so long, and then I just got impatient. That's so punished. Too impatient. Should have just like shock blasted two of them and attacked or something, or just attacked. So just getting a gem out of my hand. Not a bad draw. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nothing beats field testing. Alright, now we got this Bastion. Wish we would have had the Bastion before. Don't imagine this works, but you never know. Hey, show me that again. I should probably just Zenith Blade this thing to get it out of Southeast Range, but they could just do that in response. Alright, admittedly, that card wasn't helping me too much. Um, do we even have any champions left in the deck? We only have four cards left in the deck. Yeah, I kind of needed a threat. Alright, well. 
That's too bad. I think we have one more Tarek. Have to find out. Hey, you the best. Avatar. When you cast a spell, create in hand a random spell that costs three or less and give it fleeting. Okay, what can this do? Sitting on removal. Hmm. I was just made by the financier. Alright, so I have one round to kill my opponent. Twenty damage this round. Okay. Yeah, twenty damage seems pretty unlikely this round. Too bad we couldn't keep going. We're actually at, at kind of a nice. You know, like the avatar could be like really cool to have. I 
it. It's my fault for not keeping the not playing around Ruination, not keeping that eight mana spell available for Ruination. It's my fault. I, you know, I I just pressed, and I knew I shouldn't have pressed. I knew I shouldn't have done that, but I did. So we've played this deck for 50 minutes now, and we've played one game. <laughs> that that is insane. That's the longest one game I've ever played. Beating ruination stuff. You just need to attack. That two drop with Shadow Isles hitting ruinations. That's that's pretty good. Is this just... Is this just like a new player, maybe? All Ionia? Remember, we're the ones who make progress happen. The new financier can re really make... You know, like, I liked Go Hard, Go Hard Catalog. I hadn't really thought about it too much, but I really liked Go Hard Catalog before the new cards came out. But now financier being able to play this in Go Hard Catalog probably pretty awesome. You know, allows you to play a cheap unit but still have, like, powerful spells. You know, allows, you know, like, this allows you to play Ruination without having to put Ruination in your deck. Hmm. Take Grand Plaza. Yeah, I recommend uh, Mobilitics. You're looking for a website for different deck lists and everything like that? Check out Mobilitics, which um, Hope Send just uh, linked there. On the left hand, like that's just my profile in Mobilitics, but on the left hand side, you can uh, see a lot of stuff. They have a good page for like uh, all the stats for different decks and a tier list, which may not always be the most up to date, but it's in there. And other things like that. So maybe check out uh, Mobilitics. Hey, Jan. Thanks for uh, resubbing here 13 months. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So now Nexus Strike, they still get to create copies and it stays out there. That's pretty cool. No! Alright, so my plan was to play Terek and have Terek copy over Pill Cascade, but I guess if they just use like Stun or Recall, which is somewhat likely... Uh, that's not going to be great for me. I'm going to instead just go with double... Double two drop. And just be able to, you know, challenge both. Let's get these elusives out of here. Old masks let young eyes see clearly. It's an awesome day for progress. Buckle up. Okay, pill cascade just in case. Like maybe they go twin disciplines here. Okay, retreat your turn. Ionia gets to do cool things. It's a tricky region. You can do lots of tricks. Eyes open. Watch your branches. Well then. Well then. Oh, what I thought I was casting Shock Blast. <laughs> the 
Alright, well. Now I'll cast Shock Blast. It actually makes sense to wait anyway. I want to kill it. The Shadow Seer anyway. We'll take two. Hmm. I fight for a brighter tomorrow. So we have Jace have quick attack and challenger. Just get them both. Only we draw like the out of the way, right? Out of the way Grand Plaza. That sounds pretty cool. I could see passing here and having them waste their seven mana. Like this may not, this attack may not even be worth it. See how they just recall. Death is like the wind, always by my side. So Sunburst leaves me with five mana. Really wish I could play that Shock Blast. Yep. First the May all those who journey find what they seek. So Meteor Shower deal 4, deal 1 does line up pretty good against um, Yasuo and Shadows here. Beauty and life. Oh! What am I doing? I have to play this card first for the Daybreak. <laughs> my plan was to Daybreak that, but alright, well it looks like it didn't matter. Oh, I... Bastion? Man, I am... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just kind of throwing things away. Yeah, that probably should have been Bastion. Hmm... It's time to shine. Arm yourselves with holy sunlight. Press forward. Yes, they're out of ones. So I guess they only have just like the, th the three one drops. Just those three four threes. I can play two cards. I can play two of Meteor Shower plus Shock Blast. 
Getting greedy. Okay. Um. I kind of want to just play this glorious evolution. some really cool cards with <laughs> creating all these uh, expensive things. Step I mean, well, you don't need... Yeah, I mean, sure, I guess it it disables this J synergy, but I mean, it's it's okay. <laughs> we'll be fine with that. Um, yeah, we'll be okay. Alright, so Terex, 1 out of 7... We'll be just fine. Unyielding. Oh, so that copy over doesn't count the augments anymore. Be done. To eight. Eyes open. Watch your branches. Yeah, so we won't do like the the copy stuff with Jace, but that'll be okay. Getting augments really important. I probably should have just done the the life. I should have just done life steal. And put life steal on it and copy life steal over. That's what I should have done. I was thinking that I wanted to keep Bastion available, but I didn't really need to keep Bastion available. Bask in her radiant blessing. Dawn and Dusk. So assuming they'll, they'll play this elusive also, and then we'll be able to Shock Blast. Huh. Guess not. So then I'll have time for Out of the Way. Give permanent buffs. Financier. Give it all? Yes, please. If it's a people problem, I'm your man. That is what I'm talking about. Alright, let's go grab lifesteal. How much mana we got? Yes, we got enough. Replicating the 
power, Spike. So we got exactly enough for Bastion for protection and then give it all. They cannot strike what they cannot see. Interesting use of tech. Which I guess it could have been cool to do acceleration gate give it all, but Oh, give it all gets doubled. I guess that doesn't really matter. <laughs> But the acceleration gate would have just gave quick attack, or they're gonna have quick attack anyway. It would have really only gave like one keyword, but. Alright, so they're all gonna have permanent, life steal, uh, challenger, spell shield, quick attack. <laughs> I have Not overwhelm. But these are all permanent because we played out of the way. So now whenever we play the Acceleration Gate later, they can't get any of these keywords. So they'll be getting new keywords. The power of our order. Uh, you're elusive. Alright, that's cool. Interesting use of tech. No, the spell shield's permanent. Because of out of the way. Everything's like, yeah. That's all permanent. Spike. All right, acceleration gate. Hey, show me that again. New keyword. Was oh, that deny? <laughs> I wonder if that's deny. All right, we got impact, overwhelm. Oh, nice. Give them all ephemeral. Well, I mean, that one. Because the rest have spell shield. Alright, the old negative 89. That was a success. One of one. Yeah, opponent certified cool. <laughs> Yeah, Pono was definitely a cool dude there. Yeah, this is yeah, we've only we've only played two recorded games. We've technically played three. It's been over an hour and five minutes. But the first first match was like twenty minutes and the opponent just kinda gave up and it wasn't a good ending at all. And then the next one was over thirty minutes. I'll just keep everything. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to keep Bastion, but you know, like we got Tarek. All right, cool. Remember, we're the ones this is nice. The Forge up. Chief being able to, because you know, like with Tarek, you want to curve out with units, but then you also need spell mana. It's, you know, it's a kind of a give or take. But the Forge Chief is kind of like give and take. It does a little bit of both for you. All right, I guess we trade. Whoa, no trade? All right, so they're Poros, and so they're going to be using Poros snacks and stuff like that. What do we want with Loping Telescope? A good old Moon Silver. So we can cast Tarek next round. But then I don't have, like, Pill Cascade to go along with Tarek. Or now we do. I have never done this before. This is a first. I'm ready to show Round three, Tarek with Pale Cascade. Challenger Jace just killing a 1-1 Daring Pora would not have been that bad either, but it's just a little 1-1 for now. <laughs> Dolly says, I love that I'm working here line. Never submit. That was the Forge Chief that said that? Is that right? 
horrors done to you. It's round three. That's a good round three right there. So they should use Poro Snacks, right? Oh. I just wanted, like, the gem. But, alright, that's good for us. No Poro Snacks. Zenith Blade! Even better than a gem. Alright, so that's going to be number four. Five, six, seven... Taking my loping telescope. Yeah, my loping telescope. That's my loping telescope. We can't get the take damage, you know, can't take damage or die claws this round, no matter what we do. I think we should attack from here, though, because we don't want them to get Crescent Strike with their loping telescope, and then, like, I play, like, Forge Chief. And then they Crescent Strike and stun. That'd be sad. And so while I could play the gem, um, and it would technically level up Taric. I guess I could have done it just to have Taric leveled up, but it wouldn't we wouldn't have the take can't take damage or die claws. Yeah, I guess I probably just should have. Yeah, round three, play champ, draw two. And also attack for, you know, seven tough. I am the protector of the mountain. Of the mountain. Wow, they got rid of an Aurora Porealis. So, if they have Poro Snack, Poro Snack, that's 12. If those are their last two cards, Snack Snack. Okay. I think we can take all that. Nothing beats field testing. Wow, didn't even attack with the elusives? Come on, opponent. You gotta attack with the elusives. Alright, all. All right, can't take damage or die. Never submit.
And maybe they had another Porealis in hand. Maybe they maybe that was like their other card there as they had So maybe this is just another Aurora Porealis. Which could still be the case. That was just made by the lonely Poro. Oh right, that card. They kind of have to... Okay, it's got Spell Shield. They kind of had to play, like, Poro Snacks first and then eat everything after the Poro Snacks. It would have been lethal. I would have been... I would have been in a lot of trouble if they had one Poro Snacks and would have just played this... this round. Okay, we survived. Two and one. Victory we're not playing against the best decks, you don't know, always in, in normal, but those were two fun games. Alright, so uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube finished up two and one in those three games. It, they were just really long games. Uh, you know, usually we play five games every deck. But I don't want to have, you know, an hour and a half YouTube video. Um, so we got to see everything the deck does in those three games. And so, like, you know, like uh, like those last two weren't against, like, the steepest of competition. But we got to really show off everything that the deck does. And so that's what, you know, that's the goal. And so now you can kind of see, you know, what you're doing here. Um, you know, with Jace, Tarek out of the way, um, you know, give, give all your stuff a lot of keywords. Um everything like that. That last game was pretty cool of having the round three Taric. That was awesome. Have our different ways to level up Jace. Um, but yeah, you can see what it's all about. Um, Forge Chief really impressed. This is like, I think this is the, a really good Forge Chief deck of like where you, you want your early body, but then you also want your spell mana quite a bit. I think this was a very good Forge Chief deck. And then of course you have Financier and Loping Telescopes. You have lots of ways to just get like really crazy top end cards, you know, whether it's just a um, a, an epic from Loping Telescope or an expensive card from Financia. And then, of course, you have uh, Solari Priestess also that can get you some cool top end cards as well. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it for Tarek Jace. So, uh, leave those, those y'all watching later on YouTube, leave those comments and hit that like button and all that kind of stuff. And let me know what you think of the deck. And hopefully, y'all enjoyed all the uh, crazy stuff that was going on in these games. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next one.